Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Power Rangers related review for you. These are the Retro Morphin Power Rangers. Now, this is very, very interesting. For those that don't know, back in the 90s, in the Mighty Morphin days, we had these Flip Head Rangers, as, as they were called. And as you can see, these bulky looking bodies, because they actually had the Rangers' civilian heads, and you would push down on the morpher, and it would flip over the civilian head into their helmet. So it would basically morph the Rangers. Uh, and that was a really fun thing to do. Um, I loved the figures as a kid. In fact, I actually have my original toys from when I was a kid. Now, before you look at them, I have to give you a warning. They are in terrible condition. I mean, like, pieces of them broken off. They are, like, yellowed or they're supposed to be white. They are scratched up. They are in terrible, terrible condition because these are some of my earliest Power Rangers toys and I played with them a lot. You know, I did not just take care of them. Like, I, I played with them all the time. Smashed them against each other as they fought monsters. All that good stuff. So, uh, yeah. Look at that. Like, that is, that is bad condition. But I love these guys because, like, th these are, these are mine from when I was a kid. Like, 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 if you don't, if you don't believe me, look, I actually have a picture of me as a little kid right there, and I have the Power Rangers posed somehow on a carpet. They're all standing. I'm rather impressed with myself. Two monsters in the middle there. Like, they're all going in for a fight. Like, that is, in my opinion, very, very impressive of me as a little kid. But you can see, these are the exact figures from when I was a little kid. So, they did not stand the test of time. But, uh, that, that flip head fi uh, thing, right? Check that, that's epic. That's so cool, right? You just push down on the, on the morpher, boom, boom, flips open. Super, super cool. Um, I love these. And they actually recently, a couple years ago, did re-releases of those flip head figures, okay? And uh, with, with a couple minor differences. The civilian heads and things, they tried to like update and fix a little. Some of the changes were, were okay and some were not so great in my opinion. I, overall, I kind of prefer the original flip heads to the re-releases. But the re-releases were there and they're, they tried to, as much as possible, recreate the originals. Now these, I, I realize that was a little bit of a long introduction, but I'm getting to the point here. These are not meant to be recreations of the original completely. They're in the style of the original, but they actually have more articulation than the original figures had. So that's kind of the, the, the new thing here. They're meant to be in the style of the old school figures with some supposed improvements. Now we're gonna do a comparison and see if that is true. So this wave one, comes with the Mighty Morphin Pink, Black, Red, and Blue Rangers. Now, if you're looking at this, you're like, uh, hello? Like, what the heck? Where's Trini? Like, that's not fair. Don't worry. Wave 2 is coming. It has Trini. Uh, it has Tommy. It even has Ranger Slayer from the comics, which is really cool. Uh, there's one other one I'm not remembering, I think. But there's also a Ninjor figure as well, uh, which is which is also pretty cool. So, so I will get the next wave and do reviews, so don't worry. That will happen. But... Let's take a look at these. So first of all, they tried to go with the old school packaging style as well with the old kind of Muddy Morphin logo. So, you know, it definitely gives that nostalgic feel with the green colors and all that. Um, and as you can see with the figure, overall kind of a very similar style. We'll do a direct comparison when I, when I take it out of the box. Although this is bigger and bulkier looking than the originals were. Now, don't take too mind in the color of the pink because obviously it's faded since then. I think this is much more the original pink than this kind of like salmon looking color, whatever it is, anyways. Um, but yeah, so there's that. It does come with the, uh, the power bow and um, the, uh, uh, oh my gosh, po uh, power blaster? Why am I blinking on the name of it, right? Whatever the thing is called. Um, that thing, you know what it is. Um, and there you go, you flip it over and you have, again, the uh, uh, original style packaging. I, I do wish that they would have had Trini at least pictured on the box or something saying coming soon, whatever. Just the fact that it's just got the four of them there just for collector's purposes makes this box, in my opinion, kind of weird. But you can combine all the weapons, so eventually we will be able to uh, uh, to do that. Although the odd thing here is they actually picture this without Trini's weapons there. Um, so they're like really making it look like you can build the whole, you know, um, the whole cannon thingy, the whole blaster, but without Trini's weapons. That, that, it's, it's odd. It's odd. But anyways, there's that. There's Kimberly. We got Zack right here. 
Um, check that out. His uh, Power Axe is a uh, uh, black colored um, instead of just the white here, so that's interesting choice. Um, I don't know if I like that or not, um, just because, especially when you combine them, like, look at that, that looks kind of funky. Um, I kind of wish they were all the same color, in my opinion, but I guess we'll, we'll see how it looks in person. We have Jason right here, and, and now they're going with a gray look for the Power Sword, so again, a different color. Uh, like, if, it's one thing if they were going to go with all of their own colors, like if this was red and that was pink or whatever, uh, which also would still look kind of weird, but at least, like, that'd be there'd be some kind of theme to it. But uh, these different, just random colors, just that it's just odd to me. Just odd. Um, and then we have... Billy right here, also with the gray. Is it the same shade of gray? Uh, pretty much. Um, but he's got his uh, his weapons as well. There he is. There's Billy. So, um, without further ado, let's get these guys open and take a look. Alright, so I've got them out of the packaging here. I will say, my first thoughts are, when, when these were first announced, uh, and I saw pictures of these, I actually thought they looked bad. Um, I'll be honest, I just thought they, they didn't look great, it just looked kind of weird, and, uh, you know, it was one of those things where I said, I'm gonna get them so that I can, you know, make my own review, I'll do a comparison with the originals and see how they are. They're actually not as bad as I first thought, I will say that. Now, do I like them? I, I, I'm kind of mixed, like, I feel like there are some improvements they made here to the original figures. But then there's also some things about the originals that I like a little bit better, also. Um, so, let's let's talk about that a little bit. So, I'm going to bring in the Red Ranger, just for comparison. So, we're going to do kind of a general comparison of of these figures. Overall, when, when you look at the look of the Rangers, um, I think the originals looked better. Um, obviously, ignoring the, you know, screwed up paint, all that stuff. I think the originals look better because, I mean, look, this guy's a lot blockier and bigger, right? Like, his chest is a lot wider. Um, the helmet is not quite as good, in my opinion. Um, even, you know, if you look up close, um, you know, there's, there doesn't have the black dots painted there. Just the, the visor just seems a little too, like, narrow and wide. Like, it's, it's a little odd, right? Like, it's, it's a little off. Um, so, I will say that... Um, I prefer the original. Now, there are some things about the new one that are more accurate in terms of the Morpher itself. Um, on the originals, you can't really see it on the red one because it faded, but they all had uh, a red dot. That's it. Uh, whereas on the new ones, you check out the, the Power Morpher, it actually says Power Rangers and it has the T-Rex on it. They all have their appropriate dinosaur. Also, they actually had the power coin on the chest that actually used to have the T-Rex there. You can kind of see the Mastodon on this one. It's all kind of faded away on some of them. Um, whereas these guys don't have the power coin, so they are more accurate. Um, but maybe that's also why this chest like looks more noticeable, because it's wider, because this is kind of filling in the gap. I think without that, uh, it probably wouldn't look as good. Like, I do think, you know, like, comparing, like, these two guys together, I think the black one looks better, um, because the power coin, probably, to be honest. So, in a way, the inaccuracy kind of makes the wider chest not look as bad, uh, in that sense, you know? I also kind of prefer the, the bit more of a glossier look to the figures, um, you'll notice. Uh, again, don't pay too much attention to the shade of red, but, like, the glossier nature versus these kind of have a more matte finish to them. Um, it just doesn't look as as nice, in my opinion. So, I think there's some downgrades there, and some small little upgrades too, right? But overall, the general look and feel of the Rangers, I think the originals were better, and I think these look a little worse. So, we're kind of starting off on the wrong foot. However, I do like the added articulation and some of the other changes that were that were made. So real quick, um, it was the, uh, uh, I was blanking on the name of it, the Blade Blaster. Um, I don't know why I um, forgot that uh, earlier. So I know there's already somebody in the comments that's like, it was the Blade Blaster and, and uh, uh, has already wrote that in there. I, I remembered, I caught it. Uh, <laughs> there it is right there. Um, you do not have like the, the Blade mode, just the, the Blaster mode. Um, and then here is his power sword right here, just real quick. You can kind of see. Um, so, 
Uh, what else, right? Well, actually, you know what? Let me bring back the other one just to, to give you the differences in articulation. One, on the original, the head could not rotate. On this one, head does not rotate on, uh, on, uh, the, um, on the helmet either. However, um, I think I saw... Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm getting it mixed up. I thought I saw something... Uh, the re-release of these guys did have the head turn. So this this one's the same in that regard. My apologies. Okay, the arm, right? So you had rotation here, the arm could move up like that, and then you had this entire bottom half of the arm that could rotate and bend at the elbow, right? Here, rotation, arm goes up quite a bit. Uh, you do have, this part of the arm rotates, bend at the elbow. So the hand is the same, same articulation, right? Um, on the legs, they could move forward, um, and then they could bend at the knee, no rotation, no moving legs apart. On the legs, they can move forward, they can do the splits. That's a big, big difference there. You can bend at the knee, but you can also rotate now as well. So the legs have gotten an upgrade in articulation, allowing for a wider variety of poses. Now, the good and bad of that is I like that. It, it's, it's much nicer to be able to pose them, certainly much easier. Um, however, when you're able to do more poses like that, the fact that they don't look as humanoid anymore does make them look a little bit more odd also. So you kind of have that, that give and take there um, in a way. Lastly, which I think is the biggest change, is in order to transform them, let's say I want to go back to the civilian head, you couldn't just like push a button and make it transform. Like you had to hold it down, manually rotate the head back in, and then let go. And it would only automatically go from civilian to ranger. It's fine, as a kid you got used to it, right? Not as clean, but it works, right? Well, guess what? Here, you actually don't pull down on the morpher here. There's actually this little lever on the back now. And when you do that, you actually kind of, if you do it a little bit, um, it doesn't go all the way. You kind of have to push down a little hard and it hits a little spring and activates and goes back and forth. Um, at first glance, I was a little bummed that it's not by the morpher again since I'm so used to that. But to be honest, that doesn't matter as much to me. I actually do like that I can go back and forth very quickly. Um, that is an improvement in my book, and that is one of the biggest improvements of these figures. Um, so that is overall just the, 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 the thing about these figures is they tried to recreate that nostalgic feel to them. However, they decided to go for some improvements uh, in articulation and design and all that. Um, tried to fix some of the inaccuracies like the power coin on the chest and for the most part the improvements are nice But there's a few cases where you know, I prefer the original overall So it, it kind of varies and and I, and I don't know which one you would like better I mean for me, it's the originals because I grew up with the originals like I have severe Nostalgia glasses on you know for these figures as you saw the picture of me as a little kid, right? So these are always going to look weird to me I appreciate the added improvements. I think technically they are better figures in design, but it, I'm going to be biased in that, right? But let, let's review the figures on their own. Let's compare the civilian heads here. And uh, what you're going to see already, in my opinion, is I think they've made some improvements to the civilian heads. Now, in the re-releases of these figures, the civilian heads, I think, in general, were worse. I think in this case, I feel like... They've, they've gotten a little bit better. Uh, they kind of look cartoony to me on this on these figures. You'll see as we continue. But overall, if I look at these two figures, which one looks more like Jason? I mean, I think the new one. Um, I think that's just how it is. And, uh, you know, there you go. So that's that little comparison. So let's, let's take a look at Billy here as well. I'm not going to go through articulation because it's all the same. Uh, here is his... Um, uh, weapon here, the power lance, and it can of course split up into the two parts for when you want to combine the weapons. Um, so there he is right there. Um, and he's got his, his power coin on the morpher, triceratops, flip the head, and we have Billy. So, let's bring in the Blue Ranger right here. Um, again, Lots of paint issues, so we're not going to talk about that. But looking at the helmet sculpt, 
I think this is one case where they did better on the new version. The old version has weird proportions. The visor looks off, even the little, you know, Triceratops horns are kind of like bumped out too much and kind of weird looking. So overall, I mean, this is a much better looking Triceratops helmet. As far as the civilian head, this is, this is where it gets a little tough. Technically, which one looks more accurate to Billy? I would say the one on the left. I think the one on the right looks like a generic white guy with glasses, honestly. Um, this one at least tried to go a little bit more towards like Billy. However, the cartoony style and just the way they did it makes him look very odd. Um, he just, he looks weird, right? He looks like his nose is too big or something. Like, he looks funky. Um, so technically it's probably closer to Billy than this one is, but this actually looks like a person and this just looks just not good. <laughs> I, I really don't know what else to, to say about that one. Um, so, you know, that one's kind of a swing and a miss in, in, in that regard. Um, all right, let's bring in the Black Ranger right here. And he, of course, has his power axe. Uh, now, this does not slide down to make the, like, blaster. I mean, he could hold it like a blaster, but this little piece does not slide up and down, just so you're aware. Um, but, you know, same type of articulation and everything that these other figures have. Um, and there's the Mastodon on the Morpher there. So I'll bring in the Black Ranger. Um, overall, for the head sculpts, I think these are pretty close. I think I'm going to have to edge this one out to the new one. I think the new head sculpt is a little bit better compared to this one. I think this one has some, like, uh, lines that are kind of moving up and down, whereas it's just straight lines there, which I think looks a little bit more accurate to me. Um, overall. Now, let's take a look at the civilian head. Whoops. Which one is more accurate? Um, again, technically it's the new one, but I, I really, the thing that, that, that gets me is I think they just went for a cartoony look for these figures, and that's what I don't like. I wish they would have gone for something more realistic, uh, spent a little bit more effort on that. It just, it looks too cartoony for me. Um, which maybe is better because of the big bulky, you know, body style or whatever, but it's just, it's still just odd in my opinion. Um, so like technically it looks more like Zack, but it, it is just kind of odd. So I, I can get why, you know, uh, some people may not like the new figures because of that style that they went for. All right. And then we have the pink ranger, um, articulation is going to be the exact same because you know, the female rangers use the exact same body sculpt as the male ones in, in these types of figures as well. She's got her power bow right there. Um, now, my uh, pink ranger does have like a little white splotch of paint on there. Um, so do keep that in mind when you are looking for these. Unfortunately, um, you know, there may be those types of issues on the figures. As with anything, that's not specific to this, this figure. But here's Kimberly right here. Um, I think the new... Head sculpt is a little bit better. I think here the visor could be a little bit bigger, I think, um, on, on the old one. So I, I, I think overall the new one is, is pretty solid. Um, now, taking a look at Kimberly. Again, technically, I can see what they're going for, right? Like, I can see how this is supposed to be more like Kimberly, but it looks more cartoony, right? Like, this doesn't look like Kimberly. Um, but it looks more like a person, <laughs> right? Like, so I just, I'm having such a hard time with like the differences between the two of these figures, if you know what I mean. Uh, so like technically it looks more like Kimberly, but it doesn't, I don't see that and look like get excited about how it looks either, you know? So it's, it's just, it's in a weird spot. These really are in such a weird spot. Um, it, it's like the, a blend of nostalgia and also like, you know, modern improvements to figures and stuff, and also just weird design choices. And it's just, it's like, who are these figures for? You know, because I feel like the adult collectors out there are going to want the originals because they're the originals and they're classic. And these types of changes are, in some cases, are just kind of weird. I don't know that if kids are going to like these necessarily because they probably, 
you know, want better action figures. Um, so I just, these are in a very, very weird spot. So like, do I recommend them? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, you can, you can judge for yourself. Let's put it that way, right? Like you can see the differences. Um, and maybe you never had the original flip heads. And so this is an alternative for you. Um, I do appreciate some of the choices, like the better leg articulation, the way to flip back and forth between, between the heads. That is an improvement for sure. Um, you know, so, so definitely some improvements and I appreciate them for that. But, um, I mean, the civilian heads just being very cartoony and weird. Like it's just, I don't know. You, you guys let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on these figures? I will be getting wave two and ninja and all that. So I, I will still continue the comparisons and see, uh, how they are. The very, very last thing that I'm going to do is make the combined weapon, even though we don't have Trini's weapons, the back of the box claims that you just need these four, even though it's not accurate, but you know what, just for the heck of, you know, just for the heck of it with completion's sake and all that, we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna roll with it, right? We, we are gonna, we are gonna roll with it. So we got our, um, power axe. Okay. We have the, uh, power bow, which is going to fit in right there. Uh, our power lance split up here and it will just kind of slide in like so. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the power sword. So once we get Trini, we'll be able to create the full combined version, but there it is right there. I, I really weird, you know, having the different colors there. I just, I really would have preferred something, you know, all single colors or what, maybe they just wanted some contrast amongst things. I don't know. What do you guys think of that with the different colors? Um, let me know in the comments as well, but there it is. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, make sure you're subscribed so that when the new figures come out, you'll be notified and be ready for my review. Thank you all so much for watching as always. Take care and I will see you later.